Hi guys, it's Dave in Real Life Football and welcome for, to this toy hunt vlog. Yeah, we're back up at Castleford. We haven't been up here for a while. There is a, a escape, which uh, we've either done a video for that or we're doing a video there in the future. But uh, we're at Freeport at Castleford Junction 32. And as always, we are going to be checking out HMV, Toy Town and Game to see what we can find. Uh, with it being March, there's not really that much new stuff out at the moment, especially in these littler shops. So yeah, we're, we're going to be lucky to find anything, really. We are going to follow this woman, the white shoes lady, into HMV, and we are in there already. Obviously, there's a lot of this Japanese-inspired stuff. Uh, here is the Funko section, and Morpheus from Ma The Matrix. It's very cool to see. We are going to look at some of the stuff around here. There is E.T. dressed as a woman. Quite interesting. <laughs> if you've seen E.T., you'll understand that uh, what that pop is all about. And there is She-Hulk as a zombie. So, yeah, the Funko section is uh, always quite interesting. Always looking for WWE Funkos, but it's never any in here, to be honest. Here is uh, Boba Fett from Star Wars. It's pretty cool. As I struggle to get that back into where it belongs. <laughs> uh, here's the, the wider selection. But then I did notice this. So all you Dungeons and Dragons fans. Yes, the new movie is out soon. But they brought out the old toy line. From the cartoon from when I was a kid. I really wish that they'd do this as a movie. Uh, it would be better. Uh, than what we are getting. And here's all the other stuff. Obviously heavily inspired from uh, Stranger Things being out. <laughs> That's the reason why the, the Dungeons & Dragons has become massively popular again. Here is uh, Anakin as a small boy in Star Wars Episode 1. As a, a pop pin. Here's some more phone calls. Let's have a look around. Nothing really catching my eye. Uh, there's these soldiers. Uh, yeah, just not much. Obviously, if you see something that you want in here, just let me know. Uh, there is a mystery Funko Pop. Thing is, though, I would buy that, but it's usually always anime pops what they shove in there. That's no good to me. I don't collect anime pops, so, yeah, it's a bit... It, I kind of like the idea of a mystery pop, but, yeah, it's just what you get. It's not good. There's a Hellfire Club. Uh, from Stranger Things, we're going to look at some DC figures. Haven't looked at these for a while. There's a, like a Batman. Looking rather mysterious in a big massive coat. This one's got an evil funny face. Here is a Wonder Woman. It's a bit too covered up for me as that Wonder Woman. We'll put that back. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I've just looked at that one before. Look at Harley Quinn. It's like staring at me from uh, the comic book there. Uh, there is Spider-Man and... Uh, I think that's Gwen Station. There's Kang. Obviously, Kang made a storyline in the uh, Marvel Universe right now. Obviously, started with Quantum Mania and Man and Wasp. So, that's going to get even more interesting. Then we've got this, like, I think these are here for International Women Day. Because we've got, like, She Wolf, uh, She Hulk. And look at this. We found these boxes full of toys, guys. This is an exclusive. <laughs> We found these just lying around. They're either packing them away or putting them out onto the shelves. There's Thrawn from... Uh, well, not Thrawn. Uh, it's uh, Matt Moff Tarkin. There we go. Get your Star Wars reference right, Dave. <laughs> Fake Star Wars fan incoming. <laughs> Here's some more figures. But actually, I had a look at this box as a member of staff came up to me. But she didn't say anything. But it's empty. Empty boxes in HMV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't hate buying that and realising it's empty. Obviously, they've had quite probably had quite a bit of theft. They are highly sought after McFarlane toys, after all. We are going into the Star Wars section. Hopefully, I can redeem myself and know what I'm talking about in this section. And maybe not. <laughs> but these are cool. I keep looking at these. I keep thinking, do I uh, start a new line of figure collection? There's a nice Boba Fett figure there, and uh, there's that other one again. But there is, uh, for all you anime fans, some Dragon Ball Z stuff. There is that Mandalorian poster. Look at that. How cool is that? 
And we see some t-shirts. Uh, some more electronical stuff like headphones and just like bits what you would add. Uh, we are on the look for the mask at this time, but uh, we couldn't find it. But I did find something else after I dodged this fella uh, in the aisle. And uh, yeah, we'll get there in a moment. <laughs> and it's this, this. Wow, Clerks. Anybody what's a bit of a Kevin Smith fan will know that Clerks 3 is out. And I actually purchased this. This is coming on with me. Clerks 3. I can't wait to watch that. Maybe watch along on Clerks in the future. Don't know if anybody will be interested in that, but I am. Uh, so this is coming on. I did buy it. I picked it up. Uh, so it's a successful trip. We are leaving it here in HMV, and we're going to go on to our next destination, which is Toy Town. Don't worry, I did pay for the DVD. I didn't just walk out of the shop like I just suggested there. Uh, we are walking through uh, Freeport. Try to keep a low profile. There is a lot of security guards. You pretty much frown at filming in this kind of place, which is ridiculous because it's retail and it's public domain. But anyway, you know, I digress as we end up going here uh, into Toy Town. Let's, uh, let's see what we can find. Very quiet shop. There's only like me and an assistant. She looked very wary of me filming. Uh, as it comes to apparent at the end of this little section. Uh, but uh, these are few people in actually, uh, but not that many. We have, there's a little Mario doll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of little things here, but we're uh, having a look around for the WWE section, obviously. But I found these things from King Kong. Uh, obviously, King Kong, massive franchise right now. Uh, you can watch uh, Kong versus uh, Godzilla. On uh, Amazon Prime, there is that Mandalorian. Fantastic looking figure, that. I do like that. And here's some more. Tuscan Raider. Uh, and uh, C-3PO. Look at that. Really cool. And these are reduced priced as well. So uh, if you're going to start a Star Wars Black Series collection, I think it's the perfect time. Look at Chewie there. He loves it. And then look at these retro uh, He-Man. And then this new range of He-Man. Which is better, guys? The retro or the new? Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Uh, I know what Spongebob thinks. He loves under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants. And then we've got this, we've looked at these before. The Cobra Kai Turtle mix-up pack. Very, very cool. But then at the side of it is these WWE figures. There we go with the belt. And Seth Rollins. And then this, we've not seen these before. WrestleMania figures. Very cool, Kane. Well, I have not seen this Tamina figure before either. This is cool. But that's under the old line. And then obviously we've got some Seamus figures from the past. So there's a mix array of basics here in Toy Town. New and old. Uh, there's that Elias. Walk with Elias. That's, uh, uh, well, that's not a really good impression. There is Anthea at Ember Moon. That worst figure I've ever seen. <laughs> this Seth. There's Roderick Strong. Who's gone missing off the TV for some reason. There is Dakota Kai. One third of uh, damage control. And we've got this. Look at this bad boy. It's Andre the Giant in yellow. All cold in attire. <laughs> Amazing. And there is uh, the Undertaker. So there's the line. I did try and find that Bianca Belair figure. But she's not here. Amazingly. So typical of uh, Bianca Belair. Couldn't, couldn't mix it with these guys, could she? And I would just like cause chaos trying to find that figure. Uh, there is EO. Another member of Damage Control. Can we find Damage Control in this toy hunt? Oh my God, that would be amazing. Uh, and I just destroyed and threw a spider on the floor. <laughs> As we look at China, which is a reduced price at 15 quid. I think I even paid 15 quid for the original price. Uh, there is Scarlet, there is Randy Orton. We've seen this stuff before. Uh, so, oh, but look, there is Bianca Belair, but it's a different range. It's not the range that uh, was before. And then, ah, there we go. We've got the ringleader of Damage Control. It's Bailey, And it's Sasha. It's from that great Hell in a Cell match from a couple of years ago. 
great looking two pack that to be quite honest with you so we found damage control people it's all right we can all calm down now it's all a control there's Shawn michaels and there is dominic as a little boy look at him how oh, cute is dominic now a convict of course <laughs> Uh, there's uh, the playset. So there is the selection of uh, WWE stuff in Toy Town. Uh, nothing, uh, other than the uh, WrestleMania basics, there's nothing really new. Then I came round this and wow, look at that. I was actually chased by a member of staff at this point. <laughs> she came down the aisle as I moved away. And there is the Mower of Lawns, that, uh, Matt Hardy. <laughs> and then we've got a JCB truck and a bro brock would be riding that into wrestlemania against Dolmos. Oh, i feel like this section's just for brock lesnar to be quite honest with you there is some unicorn stuff for the new day and uh, yeah that's it we are getting kind of chased out of the shop right now uh i do yeah, get past if everything's you. okay and yeah cool <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to overstay my welcome with her uh, uh, asking questions, so we did leave. There was a security guard there as well, so we, we, we kind of like, snuck into game, which was only next door. There is them uh, uh, figures again from Dungeons and Dragons. These are really cool. Uh, these are like from Warhammer and stuff like that, so they're uh, for the role players. Uh, we are back in that game with the dodgy floor, but here we go with some more. Uh, Star Wars figures, look at that. Very cool, if I can get that to stand there. And uh, there we go. There's a little sausage dog just walked in. I had to show you that. How cute is that dog? <laughs> uh, so, they, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. There is uh, a squirrel on a bike. And there's Thanos chilling out on top of it. <laughs> uh, so, well, squir squirrel girl, we're going to go higher, man. Modoc. He's not a dick. <laughs> Uh, if you've seen Ant Man and Mo Wasp, Quantum Mania, you'll know that reference. If you don't, I've just said something quite rude for no reason. Uh, that looks cool, the Batman uh, and Joker game. These are good little retro toys from Marvel. Some, uh, like, Phoenix. There is Falcon, the old Falcon. These are pretty cool. And there is Hulk, the Incredible Hulk Smash. These are really cool, actually. I do like these. That's uh, James Jonah Jameson from Spider Man. Well, at least I think it was that, or was it Brock? Uh, uh, Brock? Is it Brock? I don't know. <laughs> I like lost my train of thought. Uh, it doesn't matter. They are playing baseball at the staff in the back. I'm sure you've heard them during it throughout this little since I walked into the shop. Yeah, they're proper having a right laugh. So, yeah, they're not bothered about me filming them or us playing a game of baseball behind the counter. So. <laughs> They're leaving me alone, so that's cool for me. So yeah, we'll have a look around this Batman uh, cookie from Christmas. Uh, there's them Lucha figures again. Uh, there's a varied selection of pops, but not what we're looking for, obviously. Only really looking for WWE stuff, but see anything catches your eye though, let me know. Uh, obviously, just endless stuff. We do spot one WWE Funko Pop. And we've already got this bad boy. It is uh, the Otis with uh, the Money in the Bank briefcase. Yeah, not that amazing run that he had with the briefcase only a couple of years ago. You know, stole the show and everything. Vince McMahon just be picking on a fat guy, really, wasn't he? Uh, look at some more Star Wars stuff. There is the third sister, I believe. Great, great. She was in uh, Boba Fett. I think Boba Fett, or either it was Boba Fett or... Uh, uh, Obi Wan, I think it was Obi Wan thinking about it. Yeah, he was from Boba Fett, uh, from Mandalorian. God, I'm getting confused again. Look, my Star Wars knowledge is through the window. There's Boba Fett. <laughs> oh, there's Jar Jar Binks. Save me, Jar Jar. Come on, save me. Save me from this nightmare. <laughs> Amazing, I think so. Here's Han Solo. This is Han Solo from uh, Force Awakens. There's Greedo. Question in the comment section. Who shot first? <laughs> uh, there's Warwick Davis's Wicket. That is pretty cool. I love that Wicket figure. Uh, yeah, I love the Star Wars stuff. Let me know if you, I should start a collection of Star Wars uh, Black series. I just think, no, it's a big, massive black hole and I will get lost in it. There is the Impractical Joker's board game. 
Yeah, the joke is that there's nothing in it. <laughs> uh, and we look at some fluffs. There's Pika. Ah, Pikachu. Yeah, these are pretty cool, aren't they? These are for all you Pokemon fanatics. Just Nick, this is for you, baby. Uh, yeah, obviously go check out the Just Real Sports channel. Ah, He-Man. We get a closer look at these He-Man and Skeletor figures. Quite cheap, 15 quid. That's cool. Uh, yeah. There's some more plush. Uh, but for you guys who are into this, there's lots of Pokemon stuff. I do think we're wrapping it up. There's Bulbasaur. Oh, Pika having a little nap. But we did find these WWE figures just before we leave. That's the uh, Canadian Earthquake. I uh, did move to find Dakota Kai, yes. More damage control. This has been the damage control toy hunt, guys. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. We are wrapping up soon. We'll just quickly look at the Lego. Uh, anything interesting? Not really. Yeah, that were pretty colourful, though, wasn't it? Bulbasaur saying, go on, leave. Leave the toy hunt. Leave, leave, leave now. All right, calm down. Yeah, we are leaving. That is it, guys. Quick look in the cabinet and all Pokemon stuff. Uh, but yeah, I've been Dave in Real Life Football. Thank you for joining me in this uh, three-part toy hunt. And uh, until the next time, yeah, we are shaking things up, baby. We'll have more toy hunts in the future. I've been Dave in Real Life. You've been awesome. Bye for now.